the Tyrannosaurus Rex. A name that echoes through the corridors of time. A predator so fearsome, so iconic, earned the title King of the Dinosaurs. Its massive skull, bone-crushing bite, and thunderous roar have captured the imagination of generations. T-Rex stood at the top of the food chain, an apex predator that ruled with unmatched power. But what if everything we believed about this king was just the beginning of the story? What if there were others, monsters that didn't just rival T-Rex, could destroy it? Beasts with jaws like steel traps, claws like scythes, bodies built for war, creatures that thrived in the darkest corners of prehistoric Earth, some that walked alongside T-Rex, others that ruled before or long after. Tonight we tear back the veil of time and step into a forgotten world where the king may not survive. These are the 10 prehistoric creatures that could destroy a T-Rex. Brace yourself. This isn't science fiction, this is ancient truth. Number 10, Sarcosuchus. In the murky swamps of ancient Africa during the early Cretaceous, a predator lurked with cold reptilian patience. Not a dinosaur, but something older, something deadlier. Sarcosuchus, nicknamed the Super Croc, was a 40-foot titan of scale and muscle, weighing over 8 tons. Its jaws were like steel traps, armed with over 100 teeth designed to crush bones and rip flesh. Unlike T-Rex, Sarcosuchus didn't roar. It waited, still, silent, unseen. When a thirsty creature, even a young Tyrannosaur, approached the water's edge, snap, a violent ambush, crushed ribs, dragged into darkness. T-Rex may have ruled the land, but stepped too close to Sarcosuchus's domain, and the king would drown without a sound. Number 9. Giganotosaurus 98 million years ago, across the vast, wind-swept plains of South America, there walked a killer, Giganotosaurus. It wasn't just big, it was huge. 43 feet long, over 8 tons, faster than a T-Rex, more agile, and just as lethal. Its teeth weren't made for crushing, they were made for slicing, sharp, serrated, dagger-like, designed to tear through flesh in seconds. It hunted the enormous Titanosaurus, creatures far larger than anything a T-Rex ever encountered. And it did so alone. In a duel with the T-Rex, Giganotosaurus wouldn't overpower with brute force. It would outmaneuver, outsmart, and bleed the king out with surgical precision. The T-Rex had the strength. The Giganotosaurus, it had the finesse of a serial killer. Number eight, Maposaurus. 100 million years ago, Patagonia was home to a terror unlike any other, one that didn't hunt alone. Maposaurus, a pack hunter, a coordinated killer. Growing up to 33 feet long and weighing five tons, Maposaurus was closely related to Giganotosaurus. But with something even more terrifying, strategy. Fossils suggest Maposaurus hunted in groups, working together to bring down prey, possibly even large sauropods. Imagine a T-Rex, surrounded. One strikes from the front, another strikes from behind. There's no escape, no glory, no crown. Against one, T-Rex might stand a chance. Against many, the king is dethroned. Number seven, Spinosaurus. 100 million years ago, in the lush deltas of North Africa, Spinosaurus aegypsiacus reigned supreme. At up to 59 feet long and over 20 tons, it was the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered. Its crocodilian snout, conical teeth, and webbed limbs made it a master of both land and water. It could swim, stalk, and strike with terrifying efficiency. Unlike T-Rex, Spinosaurus didn't rely on brute force. It adapted. It hunted fish, but also scavenged and fought other large dinosaurs. If T-Rex wandered too close to a river, it wouldn't just face a rival. It would face a predator in its element. In the water, the king would drown. Number 6. Titanoboa After the dinosaurs vanished, the Earth gave rise to a new terror. Around 60 million years ago, deep in the rainforest of what is now Colombia, slithered the largest snake the world has ever known. Titanoboa stretched over 40 feet long and weighed more than 2,500 pounds. It hunted like modern boas, striking silently, wrapping its massive coils around prey, and crushing them to death. Had it lived in T-Rex's time, Titanoboa could have stalked juvenile tyrannosaurs or ambushed full-grown ones from dense foliage. It didn't need speed, just patience and pressure, and the king would suffocate in silence. Number 5. Dinosuchus 75 million years ago, while the T-Rex was rising to power, a monstrous crocodilian waited in the rivers. Dinosuchus, literally terrible crocodile, up to 35 feet long, 10 tons of armored muscle, a bite force of 20,000 PSI, 
one of the most powerful in Earth's history. It didn't run, it didn't chase, it waited. When a T-Rex came to drink, Dinosuchus didn't hesitate. Crunch. Jaws like hydraulic vices slammed shut. Drag. Drown. Disappear. The T-Rex was a king on land. Dinosuchus ruled the water, and it did so with merciless silence. Number 4. Therizinosaurus. At first glance, Therizinosaurus doesn't look like a threat, standing upright with feathers and a beak. It almost resembles a giant bird. Don't be fooled. Living nearly 70 million years ago, this bizarre creature grew up to 33 feet long and weighed over 5 tons, and it possessed one of the most terrifying weapons in history. Claws over 3 feet long, curved like sides. These claws could tear through flesh and bone with ease. Though likely herbivorous if threatened, Therizinosaurus would become a whirling storm of blades. Even T-Rex wouldn't escape such fury unscarred. Number 3. Ankylosaurus Around 68 million years ago, the forests of North America echoed with the heavy footsteps of Ankylosaurus, a dinosaur built like a battle tank. Measuring up to 26 feet in length and weighing nearly 8 tons, it was covered head to tail in thick, bony armor. But its deadliest feature, a massive tail club, a bony wrecking ball capable of breaking legs, shattering ribs, even killing predators in one brutal swing. T-Rex may have had strength, but if it attacked from behind, one, one wrong move, and it's crippled for life. The king may roar, but the tank strikes back. Number 2. Mosasaurus. 70 million years ago, while T-Rex ruled the land, something else ruled the seas. Mosasaurus Hoffnani, a marine reptile stretching over 50 feet long, with a body built like a missile and jaws that unhinged like a snake's. With two sets of backward-facing teeth, it dragged prey down with no escape. In the water, even the fiercest land predator was helpless. If T-Rex ever tried to swim or got too close to shore, it wouldn't be a fight. It would be a feeding. Because in the ocean, Mosasaurus doesn't share power. Number 1. Megalodon. Millions of years after T-Rex went extinct, a new monster emerged. Megalodon, the greatest shark that ever lived. Swimming the oceans from 23 to 3.6 million years ago, it measured over 60 feet in length and weighed more than 50 tons. Its bite force was over 40,000 pounds per square inch, capable of biting a whale in half. Its teeth, up to seven inches long, were shaped like weapons. Its eyes were made for hunting in deep water. It didn't chase the ambush. Had Megalodon and T-Rex ever met, there wouldn't be a battle. There would only be blood. T-Rex was mighty, feared, legendary, but history and prehistory is filled with monsters that shattered expectations, creatures that could fight smarter, strike faster, kill harder. So what do you think? Which of these ancient titans could truly destroy the king? Let us know in the comments. And if this journey into Earth's most terrifying beasts stirred your imagination, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell. Because the most dangerous monsters, they're not extinct. They're waiting.